Hey everyone, good evening. How's your night going? Going well, I hope? So let's do something different tonight. Let's take a look at a cartoon. I want to take a look at Winnie the Pooh. Now I know a lot of us when we were young watched Winnie the Pooh and maybe some of our kids watch it now. Now, do you know what the characters actually represent? Do you understand what Winnie the Pooh was actually trying to tell you? Let's do a little bit of breakdowns on the characters and see what we come up with. Who is the first character we have? Christopher Robin, what exactly is doing nothing? Well, I'm told it means going along, listening to all the things you can't hear, and not bothering. Who is Christopher Robin? He's a young boy who has schizophrenia. Yes, he has schizophrenia. So the characters that you're actually seeing in the clips are his different personalities. And he has attached them to external things, which is very common for people who have this disorder. So a lot of you think that uh, these cartoons have no basis, but they do. These are all mental disorders held within a young boy who is troubled in his mind. So there you go, a little bit about Winnie the Pooh. Let's first listen to Winnie the Pooh. A poo bear takes care of his tummy. I'm never forgetting to eat. When it is growly and gummy, the search for the honey is on. The poo has a neck for... Binge eating. He has an eating disorder, you guys. Winnie the Pooh has a penchant, penchant for being a glutton. Next, who do we have? Tigger. Let's listen to Tigger. Hyperactivity disorder. Yes, ADHD. You got that hyperness. I think I know a little bit about that one. <laughs> What about Piglet? What do you think his disorder is? Now I know most people would think a certain thing when they hear Piglet, but not in this case. Piglet, we need you. Oh, I can't really. I, 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 I can't mow my own. But Piglet, it's winter. Well, there's no, no, no use of waiting until the last minute. Half the lumps and woozles have got me. Guess what Piglet has? Anxiety. Yes, he has general anxiety disorder. He's always frightened. Poor Piglet. Next, we have Gopher. Think. Hey, what's wrong, Sonny? I was just thinking. Is that so? What about? I... No bother. You made me forget. If I was you, I'd think about skedaddling out of here. Why? Because he has a lisp. He has a lisp. I think it's cute. We also have Kanga and Roo. Oh, are you all right? Ah, don't eat me! <laughs> Why, you must be Piglet. I'm Kanga, and somewhere around here is Baby Roo. <laughs> Very Look what I can do. Look what I can do. It's single mama and baby Roo. What about that cute little Eeyore? What do you think his disorder is? Let's see. Eeyore, it's only you. Sorry to disappoint you. Guess I'm too dull to be around. Can't blame you for moving away. Looks like fun. Wish I could have some. What does he have? Depression, 
And guess what else he has? OCD. Yes, obsessive compulsive disorder. What about the owl? What is his disorder? Free when I was hatched. I remember the day Mother made these marks. Her giant meaty claw carving furrows in the crumbly bark. Chapter 1. The birth of a genius. A breezy wind whisked through the wood as I stood majestically atop the enormous tree, my tail feathers tingling with excitement, ready to embark on my maiden voyage into the great wide open. Oh, me, owl. What? So, the owl has a few things, but what you hear in here is how he is a narcissist. Yes, the owl is a narcissist know-it-all. Nothing escapes him. So he thinks, except he also has dementia. Or at least he has early onset Alzheimer's. You will notice throughout his skits that he forgets words and he replaces them with things that sound similar, but they are not the same. So the wise old owl is losing his mind, but yet still thinks he's that genius. Kind of like a lot of ego people out here. It would certainly also help me if you would do me the honor of liking and subscribing. Maybe hit the bell notification if you want to see more of me. Um, if nothing else, maybe leave a comment if you have any feedback for me. I definitely appreciate it. Take care, you guys. Have a great night.